beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Better days are coming. The day will come when it is raining, you will not even know. Oh, yes. Enjoy the process. Never pity yourself on your way to greatness. Enjoy every process. Be featured on the way so that you will have a story to tell. Let it not be that it was when everybody arrived that you came. So that you will have a story too. Say so one day, whilst listening to the word of God, I was standing outside cold. And you look at your children and say, it was that diligence that brought about the blessings we have today. Hallelujah. I have learned never to be embarrassed. For as long as I know I am on the path to greatness, follow it. In the rain, the sun in convenience and in inconvenience follow it diligently and be proud of your pursuit and sacrifices nobody wins the olympic by mistake life is intentional progress is intentional it will cost you it has never been a secret the cost dimension of life is not a secret it's a price that is obvious everyone knows that to be great there will be sacrifices there will be seasons of constraint only a fool expects results without process Lord, we thank you for what you are doing. We are proud of where you are leading us. And Lord, we ask for grace to learn to appreciate and to access the keys that will help us rise in the name of Jesus. I've been thinking about tonight's meeting. Um, I think about all the meetings, but tonight's meeting struck me because um, every once in a while, the Holy Spirit just gives me an opportunity to reminisce on all the teachings that have come um, and I submit to us in this house that God has granted us access to many, many teachings. This year alone, we have been exposed to several teachings. And you see, the goal of these teachings, these teachings are informations. They are revelations that we are supposed to receive. We are supposed to believe. We are supposed to engage them and then watch them produce results in our lives and lift us from one dimension to the other hallelujah the goal of revelation is the transformation that it brings so that your life becomes an epistle you become a testimony that god did not lie in that area and truly it takes a while for the truth to settle in us and produce the desired results but we must endure. Hearing once, learning once, knowing once does not get the job done. We must immerse ourselves. It's from the word baptizo. Baptism. We must immerse ourselves in this truth until we are literally possessed by them. And then they will produce undeniable results in our lives.
Proverbs chapter 4. There's a song in my spirit. Let praises rise from the inside. You know the song? From the inside. Help me. May you delight. Very powerful song. In the inside. In the inside. Help me. Help me. Set me on fire. From the inside. From the inside. instruction of a father and attend to no understanding we're reading down to verse 9 for i give you good doctrine forsake ye not my law verse 3 for i was my father's son tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother for he taught me also and said unto me let thine heart retain my words keep my commands and leave five get wisdom get understanding although it is so volatile but forget it not neither decline from the words of my mouth forsake her not and she shall preserve thee love her and she shall keep thee wisdom is the principal thing therefore get wisdom and with all your getting get understanding exalt her esteem her place value on her and she shall promote thee she shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her verse 9 she shall give unto thy head an ornament of grace a crown of glory shall she deliver unto thee praise the lord i am amazed at what the wisdom of god can do in the life of an individual an organization a church a ministry i am awed while i was coming i was talking to one of the protocol the persons who was with me and i was just nodding my head and i told him i said the wisdom of god we desperately desperately need the wisdom of god you see the bible says there is a way please listen carefully there is a way that seemeth right unto a man there is a way that culture proposes and says men walk in it there is a way that intellectualism sophia human wisdom experience are we together now encapsulated in education science whatever it is the logic of life there is a way that it leads you there is a way that society leads you to approach life there is a way your instinct that is a derivative of the unrenewed mind leads you but the bible says listen carefully it says the end thereof are the ways of death 
our society is full of people guessing their ways our society is full of people hoping they are right our society is full of people imagining that they will make it young people fathers mothers leaders largely walking in confusion hoping that we understand what we are doing Do you know sometimes when i stand and i look at people i just feel like crying because i'm tempted to ask the question truly speaking who did this to us at what point did the confusion start are we together i have been passionate and you would have noticed that i i discovered that we have done well in this house with respect to exposing us to encounters by god's grace teachings have come teachings after teachings helping us to understand the person the ministry of the holy spirit we have seen encounters we have seen the power of god we have seen the glory of god but at the start of this year when the lord told me it was our year of triumph i took out time to take a little inventory and i found out that um, although god had helped us we were lacking grossly in the understanding of the systems of the kingdom we were doing well in terms of encounters the love for god passion prioritizing god but i knew that we needed to step up our understanding otherwise frustration will be inevitable it is painful to love god and still fail did you hear what i said it is it is justifiable to to hate to fail when you hate god and fail you say after all i'm not serious but when you love god a dear lady asked me a question day before yesterday i think and she said apostle are there good men i'm not teaching on, on men are there good men again and i said are you kidding of course they are and she said my mother was a good woman why is her life this way and it struck me again see let me tell you this you never never guess your way to greatness you never get your way to guess your way to peace the older you become it does not equate to the wiser you become there are 70 80 90 year old people remember we are conditioned environmentally that means that somebody mentored somebody who mentored somebody who mentored somebody who went to a school and submitted himself to a teacher's view who mentored somebody who later married somebody who mentored some children we our society is a chain of mentorship largely a communication of informations that are unscriptural and inaccurate are we together this is a very uncomfortable truth but we have to admit it because our lives and our results show that we obviously are missing it somewhere let me challenge us a bit look at your finances you will agree with me that something is missing somewhere look at your family life married or not if you're married look at your family why the fight why the quarrel it gets worse if both of you are christians look at the children why are they unruly why are they indisciplined how about your job look at the retrogression in our lives are we together now and do you know what most people will say this is what we say i don't know what i don't know why things are not working i've taught you here and i will drum it until it enters your spirit nothing works by itself nothing works by itself marriage does not work by itself spiritual life does not work by itself becoming blessed and wealthy does not work by itself becoming employed becoming responsible does not work by itself becoming a virtuous lady becoming a responsible man does not work by itself brothers and sisters growing spiritually does not work by itself becoming transformed does not work by itself everything in life must be engaged with wisdom to produce are we together now our confusion in life is because our intentions are not our results what we desire is not what we see 
so we desire a particular outcome but certain other outcomes keep happening and they keep repeating themselves regardless of the strategies we are trying ask any family represented here they will tell you we are tired of suffering we are tired of argument we are tired of pain can't we live in peace then they hold a meeting and say let's live in peace they all agree two days later everybody has gone haywire do you know why because the issue is not counseling the issue is the bankruptcy of certain informations our unwillingness to admit that time does not give knowledge please can you just flow just play something to flow hallelujah time does not impart knowledge time never never decides anything time only reveals I can go on my knees tonight and beg every one of you listening to me here listening online we are not acting on stage this thing is not a drama we are trying to act called ministry we are talking about transforming people there there is an exact formula you have to understand this there is a programming society has programmed our minds Africa has been programmed in a certain way demons have worked with information for years and decades they have come from culture to culture from university to university from college to college from school to school they have indoctrinated men into thinking and understanding life in a particular way that is producing unfavorable outcomes listen pain will never produce change it only reveals the need for change That you are going through an unfavorable situation does not mean it will change that you are crying and saying oh god will you not wipe my tears it may provoke the mercy of god but every time god wants to show you mercy he does two things he sends his word and he sends men the solution to our problems our challenges the doors we trust and hope to open are shrouded in men and information you reject men you reject truth you will die it says love me proverbs chapter 4 paraphrasing right that i will preserve you i will glorify you i will put an ornament of glory upon you please listen to me the hardest person the hardest person to ever help is the man and the woman who is resistant to change the moment an individual holds on to an old idea and old information whether theologically established philosophically established educationally established it doesn't matter what the basis is for as long as you are unwilling to open up your mind for the vetting and the probing of the spirit if per adventure the information you have carried on through your life is wrong there is nothing embarrassing about discovering that you have believed a lie you can change there is always time for a meek and a humble person who will say look i believe there has to be why am i a bad father begging and begging and 50 years we are still staying in a rented apartment i love god something is wrong why is there no favor in my life everything i lay my hands to do doesn't work listen listen this is not the issue of man of god pray for me this is the issue of submitting yourself to say i know that i am missing something because your life is producing a result it's just that it's a result you don't want if your life were not producing pain is a result failure is a result it means you are activating certain principles unknowingly limitations are results am i blessing you tonight let's not act as if god is so wicked and cannot help us and cannot change us and cannot lift us hear me your life and my life is at the mercy of our understanding of the systems of the kingdom provided we submit ourselves to understand it i give you a guarantee your light will come but for as long as we sit down and allow demons to build fortification along our wrong thinking our wrong mindset we argue and insult and move in pride 
especially for we the men because you see men our that sense of authority and dominion sometimes the false version of it has eaten us up the fact that we have accessed certain information for years does not mean it is valid a whole nation can be wrong that an information is old does not make it right it's been there but it's not right are we together our society is full of needless pain and sorrow sorrow upon sorrow there are families today that cannot live in peace they love God tongue talking some of them are even working in the vineyard of God but the systems of God that have been allocated to make for peace is not there divorce rates are soaring young people marrying the lifetime of marriages two years lovely people educated they love god once upon a time they could not sleep until they talk with themselves two years later they hate themselves what do you not know why do people fail a family of 10 people nobody ever rises beyond certain barriers we we say demons yes it is the obvious reason but not the only reason something authorized them a door was open to them most of us the demons have been casted yet our lives have not changed because there is an equation that will have to commit us commit our understanding and our participation anybody who is unwilling to listen to this has failed not will fail has failed hallelujah when i understood the systems of god my life changed do you know someone sent me a text today lamenting and languishing on a lot of things in his life you know certain monies he was hoping he can get and he said if i can just get this 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 i will have peace i said no sir no sir you can have peace now peace is a revelation peace is a revelation it is not the product of the arrival or departure of certain factors peace is a revelation you can choose to be frustrated and wrinkle yourself to death our society is full of angry people whose lack of understanding has added to their age young people looking old why because a revelation has programmed them even their bodies they have wrinkled themselves 10 years ahead of their age moving in anger and frustration I came here tonight to challenge us God is not a magician God is not just a miracle worker God is a God of principles a miracle is a sign that something went wrong and so God intervenes supernaturally to correct it a principle is a sign that things are working as designed are we together now yes every one of us seated here came from a family listen carefully came from a culture and all of our cultures have certain tenets certain understandings foundationally we were indoctrinated with those things as a template for living we have perspectives financially speaking we have perspectives maritally speaking we have perspectives even in our pursuit of godliness we have perspectives in the area of parenting we have perspectives in the area of education and orientation we have perspectives in just our sociological living relationships and most of these perspectives most of it was fabricated by men and women who did not it was not a derivative of the ministry of the Holy Spirit it came as a result of people carving out a a system of relationship based on their pain their hatred their frustration and let me tell you something that you are born again does not transform you automatically it is only the access point for transformation to start being born again means that you are now authorized to legally begin to engage yourself in transformation there is something that we have allowed we have introduced it like a drug in our spirits in our minds that is cancerous is producing outcomes we do not desire so you see a lot of people and they tell you this is what i want but then their lives never produce it 
because another system is interrupting your desire and compelling a result that is not consistent with your desire see that so every time you come for koinonia know this that your coming for koinonia is a bailout system god is rescuing you some of you god is single-handedly picking you out of a family of 11 people to say look if you people keep praying and doing night vigils you will do it forever the, the spiritual dimension is ready to be corrected but there is a level of partnership with the holy spirit through knowledge through understanding there is something you must engage nobody nobody is born successful even if you are born into a rich family it is not your success the bible says in joshua chapter 1 verse 8 it said this book of the law shall not depart this compendium of mysteries this this the wisest perspective in all matters let it not depart he said but thou shalt meditate therein day and night consistently right he said that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein it leaves you with a promise not a suggestion it says then shall you make your way prosperous and you shall have good there is bad and wicked and foolish success there is good success look at me there is no such thing that god chose one person sam come and said you you will succeed and then chose another person and say you you will fail no way god is very just he created the systems and said anybody that wants to succeed subscribe to it in other words my being successful is not something god just chose to do last week he allocated the pathway the same way when you follow a road the government they, they build the road whoever wants to get to that destination follow it whether a child whether an adult the road does not ask you how old you are provided you are following legally it says go you don't go to buy a car and they ask you how old you are no no once you can pay for it it is given to you is that true why are we failing why are things not working in our lives why are we sitting down hoping that one day god will change whereas he has decided you see if the will of god is not known to us if the will of god is not known to us we will keep praying foolish prayers and we'll keep asking as if it is god's pleasure to watch us go through pain and frustration something we do not know is responsible for these pains and these tragedies please give us jeremiah 29 and verse 11 jeremiah 29 and verse 11 for i know the thoughts that i think towards you this is god speaking thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you other versions say a future and an expected end a defined end not not an end that let's just be going and we hope no 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 an expected end that means there's something god has for me joshua selman in the blueprint of prophecy he designed that i will become something whether or not i become it is not up to him he has designed it it is my cooperation with him that will determine whether i will leave the reality of prophecy there are people god designed to be millionaires as it is they have never touched one million but in the heart in the loins of prophecy is their heritage is their destiny one of the most deceptive statements in the church is if god wants me he has the power to make it it is it is using the truth to kill you are using the truth like a knife and turning it to pierce people to say if god wants it he will make it no there are many things god wants to do that is not yet done on earth it is his will that all men be saved there are men still going to hell the fact that somebody went to hell is a sign that if you don't change nothing will change because if god has people to attend to he will attend to those going to hell first before the issue of rent are we together sorry i'm sure they are working on the sound if it does go off then we are going to pray is that fine promise already gave us uh, 
so I, I think I've said enough for us to pray for any reason the sound goes off just fire and pray very seriously and say Lord what I've had so far you see how my life is going you lay your hands and you pray don't laugh you pray and say father I know I bear witness with the fact that I am confused as I'm standing now I don't know my left from my right I'm just growing older you need to give me direction and decorum hallelujah do you know marriages now are some of the most fearful things once you see two people about to get married the first thing i look is not whether they love themselves the first thing i look is whether they understand the systems of the kingdom you just carry a lady you carry a lady that you want to marry and two of you stand and we say now what is the name of what you are doing you say we love ourselves and uh, we're trusting the lord to live together that's wonderful it's a good starting point but do you understand the mysteries that have been allocated for living for the next 60 years knowing that you will get old she will get old not knowing physically speaking the things that the future holds do you understand the mysteries what if after your wedding night somebody appears and say you took my wife do you know what to do or will you cry this is what we are talking about if you get married to this wonderful lady now for instance and in the night while you are sleeping you are happy wedding night you dance all through the day and on your wedding night a stranger appears and say well in case you don't know they don't marry anyhow from this family and since you came foolishly i am here do you understand that this one is not love again this is spiritual intelligence because many of us will get up and say ah, honey i had a very bad dream let me it's not just a bad dream your life is about to be wrecked into pieces because we live in an environment that we walk through spiritual intelligence now love took you there understanding keeps you understanding keeps you brothers and sisters don't say i got born again you have watched seven people from your family the highest time they stayed in their marriages were two years what makes you think you will stay more so it, it is true love your wife but much more than that access the keys access the keys are we together what if your wife gets pregnant and you hear a report and they say the body the baby is turning anyhow and is about to kill your wife what mystery do you know that's no longer love what do you know are you hearing what i'm saying when you start building your house and someone comes the next day you come and see the blood of a goat on they demarcate it on the side of your fence you don't know the person who put it but you put it there and then they leave a letter if you add one more block you will die responsible gentleman you went to school but what are you going to do about that situation listen carefully to what i'm telling you those who are those of our parents fathers and mothers here know they they understand what i'm saying is the young people that are just laughing and joking when you rise and become responsible for your life you know that this world is a fierce place it's not a place of joke at all you see a letter written there nobody has built in this house in this family what gives you the audacity to say you want to start building a house at 27 they put that blood there as a sign be warned can you answer whoever wrote it without seeing him because the person put it and ran away can you carry the block by yourself and drop it and say because of what you said mason we are working day and night ah it's risky to not know how to respond did you hear what i said it's not just dangerous it's risky hear what i'm saying it's risky you go for a wedding and you are dancing and somebody comes to just touch you and hug you and rub all kinds of things on you and go away is there a system of immunity that answers immediately i'm not talking of prayer your life has been equipped already by default that woman touches something and as she's going back headache starts first then the leg stops working and then whatever shrine tells her you made a mistake big mistake 
you touch somebody who is not just a dancer on a wedding ground there is a warrior quietly seated what do you know that is because of tribalism they look at you and say we are relieving you from your job your wife is not working you are the only one working on account of your faith and integrity because you refuse to bribe are we together they now bring you a sack letter do you know what else to engage so you don't go hungry or will that experience begin the the start of your frustration what do you know and what do you not know this is what i want you to know on earth the days the days i, I was speaking with jimmy's father-in-law this morning and he was telling me he said kai that during our time it uh, their time now it was a bit easier and he said during our time now our, the world is spiritual everything i mean you have to be spiritual about everything literally literally many young people are not spiritual i know you are not spiritual because you do not know what to do brothers and sisters when you return home and you see your father beating your mother boxing her you are a stupid woman you are a witch you are a devil as one who has worked with god do you know what to do or will you stand and say let me separate them sorry and you go back to your room and say god when will you wipe our tears do you know what to engage this this is my assignment this year to to equip you to know what to do that is your man of god pray for me wonderful but what if the man of god is sleeping because it is only the keeper of israel that doesn't sleep joshua selman sleeps and he can slumber we keep carrying heart pain and say i called you by 2 30 sir you were sleeping of course well, what is the meaning of that of course are we together there is something we do not know we allow evil to step into our families and just destroy people like chickens and we sit down and say god i think you have to do something wonderful submit your prayer request at miracle service but much more than that will you be able to rise in intelligence look at the suffering that ravages families financially and do you know the pain it happened is happening to people who love and fear god this is what makes it painful if i don't love god and i don't fear god whatever i get i have to admit it but when i love god and fear god i serve him truly i serve him faithfully and then all of a sudden nothing works lord i'm looking for transport to come to church i can't come for koinonia because there is no transport lord i'm looking for my school fees it's only twenty thousand. it can happen lord my father is about to die i i, we, I just need five thousand for his drugs is it really the will of god to leave you in that pain who taught you is the will of god are we together We have allowed the devil to destroy our lives can i present scenarios right now and ask you what your response will be can i give all of you koinonia right now and say from all you have learned from january till now write the following exam and then i create an imaginary scene my dear we we want to buy a fan for the worship team and we leave the spiritual responsibility to you engage every key you know our own is bring us a fan based on the mysteries do you know what to do what are you going to do what is step one what is step two for many of us step one is to cry step two is to argue step three is to look onto man and and step four is to be frustrated but there are others who know what to do are we together yes some of us right now unfortunately 
our loved ones have gone to be with the lord like the gentleman who said his father has died the, the gentleman sharing the testimony father died mother died he had to stand in as a young man for his sister but what spiritual intelligence he blessed her because he understood that things don't just happen you don't just have twins just because you you are you think you're a matured man and you have a wife that the realm of the spirit controls this realm he did that like a joke came to the house of god for reinforcement the result was as desired when your result is as desired it meant the principle was correct when you have it the way you want it it means that the principle was correct light my life like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord like a candle light me lord light me lord light me lord what do you do if you get up in the morning and just feel a sharp pain are you intelligent enough to know what to engage please koinonia listen to me i want you have to learn this thing my assignment this year is to cause you to be spiritual to understand the systems of the kingdom so you know what to do the salvation of many is dependent on your wisdom the correct application you see the bible presents the wisest perspective in all matters the wisest perspective in all matters i don't trust myself outside of the word of god the bible is not an opinion to choose what to believe and choose what to refuse it's a compendium of the wisdom of god and it says get wisdom understand how to apply the keys of the kingdom correctly and you will rise up like an edifice if i get up in the morning right now and my chest starts paining me and i start coughing blood do i know what to do or is it the day i'm in the hospital quarter to die that i start saying which message do i listen to the bible says be instant in season these keys will test you do you understand the keys listen listen the bible tells us there are arrows that fly by day i'm not scaring you is the truth are we together now what gives you guarantee that on your way to travel to kaduna or abuja tomorrow the devil is not planning to kill you what if right now god should open your eyes and you see that in the realm of the spirit they have given you 24 hours to die do you know what to engage it's risky to live not knowing what to do it's riskier to make bold face and bold statements when you have not gotten that key because you will brag and talk and talk and be whipped and punished only god knows how many covens only god knows where and where they have taken my name let this guy die let him not reach august only god knows the demons that have been casted out you think they don't take back reports they ask them from whence comest thou i came from koinonia what happened this mad young man this crazy idiot called joshua selman casted us let's plan can we kill him in two weeks yes two more weeks yes they added two more weeks i'm still standing oh he's about to take a flight can we do something because they will plan no they will plan i i wish what i was i was telling you was a lie on tuesday we are going to eat down for pastor alpha's program what is the guarantee that you will not die in the, on acts in the accident as we are going what is the guarantee that as we are not drive the car will capsize and kill me i'm coming back for sure If I die, you can say I made noise and I died. But for as long as I'm alive, no. I found it here. 
the wisdom of God. Jesus said, I have the power to lay it down and the power to pick it up. Did you hear that? Men are given the power to lay it down and the power to pick it up. Now, don't feel bad if your loved one has gone to be with the Lord. Don't worry, you are alive now. The responsibility is on you. You can't receive this for your family. You can only intercede for them. When it comes to the matters of the kingdom, it's first a personal affair. It must become truth and life to you. They are life to those who find them. Koinonia, they are life to those who find them. We live in a fierce and a wicked society. If someone, one of our ladies was giving me a testimony and she said how that someone came to boggle, I think to boggle their room or so and carry a laptop. Now, that whoever that thief is has stolen and has gone. Sad. But do you understand a system in the kingdom because you need the laptop? And for some of us, maybe that laptop just came, it was, if somebody gave it to you. Now, you are in a straight betwixt, you need that laptop. What key do I now engage? You can't cry forever. Now that it has gone, what do I do? Are you hearing what I'm saying? I wish we had time tonight. We are going to pray seriously. I would have called a few people at random and would have just created imaginary life scenarios and i would have asked what you have learned so that we don't keep compounding mysteries upon mysteries upon mysteries there are so many other mysteries lined up that you will be learning between now and the end of the year but the key is are you getting it is it spirit and life to you hallelujah are we together one of the mysteries that i'm trusting that the lord god of heaven will help us to conquer is this thing of, of poverty and lack hello believers hear me poverty and what say it poverty and poverty and lack is a mystery i told you poverty is a strategy by satan it's a strategy Poverty is not just a state of mind. It's a spiritual strategy. One of the most effective arsenal of Satan for making the lives of people useless. We come from different backgrounds with different experiences but we can begin to make our choices and trust God to help us. I'm not teaching on, on poverty or prosperity tonight, but um, my, my assignment tonight is to review and introduce us to the keys. My heart, I, I, it kept burning in me since through the week and I said, Lord, my prayer is that your people, your people will get this thing that they will understand it and it will rise. Hallelujah. What do you not know? sister what are you still allowing inside your head that is authorizing the devil to make life miserable for you brother what is it that god has been trying to pound out of your life that you are refusing to let go me this is how it is so my my i must am this like that that's how we are in our culture where we come from is it working is it working be honest is it working listen one of the keys of great people is their disloyalty to any information that does not produce there's no such thing as i was born with this if it does not work dump it throw it far from you and embrace that which is capable of blessing you the scribes and the pharisees already knew the truth but because of the ethics of tradition are we together now Nicodemus came to Jesus by night in John chapter 3 and said, Rabbi, we know that thou art a man sent from God. So they knew they were not in confusion, but in the daytime they refused. Why? Because of the rudiments of tradition. The Bible says that has made the word of God of non-effect, as though it were not powerful. Could it be that there is something this gentleman can know he's about writing his last exam 
if not because of the strike i'm sure maybe this week or next week he would have written his exam now and been a confirmed doctor now six seven years ago he, he probably would have been a naive gentleman just with a desire but he passed through a system month after month principle after principle and now after six years he's one exam to go to become a confirmed doctor and every other person called a medical doctor in the world just becomes a senior or junior colleague instantly what is the difference now whereas somebody would be convulsing eight years ago and this guy would stand confused eight years later someone will be convulsing and say it's all right it's something we can handle because something something an information your fear is a sign that you have not learned something thank you you will never be truly free from fear until knowledge bails you out fear is destroying us fear of the future fear of everything fear of death fear of living young people are afraid will i ever be established with a salary of fifty thousand as a graduate when will i ever be able to build a house it will not build you a house what will build you a house is the understanding of the word of god they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their arms save them but thou O lord because thou shown a favor towards them you must understand the keys that are responsible for activating the things that we need in life hallelujah mother there is something you can know that can transform your children could it be that the rebellion from the children is a product of an approach that may be cultural but not scriptural cultural but not scriptural there are men who are taught beat the living daylight out of your wife is a way of showing her that you are a man she does anything beat her once she will behave you have tried it infinite times it has not changed that woman may be a sincere woman under the influence of a spirit all that she may need is one encounter with the power of god and she's free and she will be one of the nicest women in the whole world now you can manage you can beat yourself There's, there was a gentleman that joined the queue after service and there were like three four five lines to him and i looked at him and i was surprised how could a spirit still be in this guy even after a very heavy service i was looking and i was seeing a spirit the guy was playing but in the realm of the spirit i was seeing so i kept quiet when the guy just came and stood close to me i said what's wrong and the guy said i'm i'm a thief i can steal anything i said ah that's it you see that that take that thief to the prison you you hang him there behind the bars and say promise and write an agreement that you will never touch anybody's biro again while he's doing that the spirit steps out and then the same human being will sign the agreement and the spirit will enter two weeks after going out something starts pushing him it's not him everybody will beat him at home and say what do i do with this child because the mystery one minute prayer how many minutes one minute prayer under the heavy anointing will build that guy's 10 years of misery but because see let me tell you ignorance makes pain continue it prolongs pain ignorance prolongs pain ignorance prolongs pain ignorance prolongs pain are we together and i just it was just a simple tap i gave him on the head and that was the end of it that wild wicked spirit because the gentleman confessed that he was willing to be free how about people that come here you see someone standing almost staggering and you say you came you you smoke something before you came to church he won't argue that's a sign that he wants to change but there is something he does not know see the house of god is truly a blessing it's a place where the mysteries that are responsible for your desire are given to you that's why it matters are you seeing the reason why god loves crowd the crowds are made of people the people are made of their needs they need access to the truth to be free 
That's how we change society. I can tell you something. And I say it with all my heart and with all joy. By the grace of God, the marriages that will happen in this ministry will be heaven on earth. Listen, it's not just prophecy alone. The keys have been given. Some of our loved ones here who are married, you see the peace and tranquility. Regardless of what, there are some kinds of evil that cannot happen. It's gone. Do you know why? Knowledge. There are people here who have married different tribes, the same tribe, but same knowledge. The same knowledge has brought them into the same kingdom culture. I've said it again and again that we will all be great. You believe that prophecy? And that the best part is that we will all know ourselves. You will see it. It will start one step. Don't forget about what you have not gotten today. Line upon line, you are walking. You are taking that step and it's in the name of the Lord. And God is helping you. You may not look like it, but the hand of God is upon you. There is a mystery that is navigating you towards the right path. hallelujah christianity is not a religion christianity is a work that should be approached with the wisdom of god the word of god represents the wisdom of god what is the wisdom of god the scriptural solution to every problem on earth the scriptural approach his modus operandi his method is called his wisdom god's approach to life is his wisdom God's approach to life is his wisdom. And the Bible is full of it. Jesus himself, the epitome of wisdom. When he came upon the earth, we saw the way he approached life. The spirit of the Christ empowered several people from Genesis to Revelation. And they manifested dimensions of living that were supernatural, enviable, admirable. And the Lord has said, this is our year of triumph. We are not going to triumph just through desire. It will be on the strength of what we know. Hallelujah. There is something we must know. There is something I need to know to be higher than where I am. My limitation in life right now is the limitation of how far I've been able to access the wisdom of God. There's more. I've only scratched the surface. If I submit myself and I learn more, I rise more. Because I begin to see how predictable my life can be on the strength of wisdom. My journey so far is a journey of searching the wisdom of God. Like a man in a gold mine searching for it. When you find it, you rejoice. Because you can stand on the strength. There was something I found out about the anointing. There was something I found out about miracles, signs and wonders. It didn't just happen. There was a day I found it. There was a day I found something about favor. It wasn't always like that. It's not just time that brought favor. No. Time just continued passing. And by the mercy and the grace of God, something was accessed. Listen, there is something you can access today that can make your seven days be equivalent to the blessings of five years it's not a prayer it's the truth there is something you can find that can compress the sufferings and the hardship of men my assignment to you this year is to help you understand this and to through emphasis reiterate it again and again until it becomes your conviction if it is not your conviction you will never walk in it let me tell you the truth these things i teach were not things i started teaching this year i've started teaching it before so don't think it's because god has helped today that i say it's easy to no 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 the wisdom of god what is god's call to you tonight stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing if you are not getting it settled down something is wrong did you hear what i said stop guessing prophesy to somebody stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing no stop guessing everybody doesn't like me what do i do stop guessing there is an exact principle that is responsible 
for delightsomeness. Stop guessing. Why is it that everything I touch doesn't work? Stop guessing. Please say it again. Say it to somebody. Stop guessing. Stop guessing. Stop guessing. Inside, outside, online. Stop guessing. It's risky to guess. The moment anything is not working in my life, I settle down. Shakata balada balada ba. I need to look at this. Something must be wrong. There is something I'm not understanding. It makes your journey easier than just guessing trial and error. You don't have that much of time for trial and error. Man of God, the power of God is not flowing in your life. Stop guessing. Did you hear what I said? Stop guessing. You are not getting something. You pray for somebody and say it is done. He goes to another man of God just looking at him and the demon goes out. Stop guessing. You just told the guy it is done. It is not done. The, the guy still has, the spirit is still there. Are we together? The person came to you for prayer. You now came and said, oh, um, I've been suffering bad luck my whole life. Everything is going wrong. And he said, really? Father, we thank you. We ask that um, this gentleman be free. He says, Amen. Now, the fact that he said, Amen, does not mean heaven said, Amen. The pastor prayed. Don't say they prayed for me. Who prayed for you? What did the person who prayed for you know? What did he know while he was praying for you? I can pray for this person, but the efficacy of my prayer is tied to the limitation of the knowledge I know. Don't just say they prayed for you. Who prayed for you? And what was what what is the, the reservoir of the spiritual knowledge that was resident in the person who prayed for you? It's not just that they prayed for you. So you tell this guy, Go in the name of Jesus, it is done. This gentleman goes and nothing happens. Stop guessing. The person comes somewhere else other than your own place. Are we together? And stands, and someone looks at him and says, Hold my hand. I bless you that's it this gentleman walks out before he gets home an alert has come a call has come is that guessing no sir a gentleman prays for twins over his sister comes for koinonia drops the result when he was praying the twins did not know they were praying for them but they still came out as twins is that guess remember he was not the husband of the wife he was a brother ah. if you can pray for twins and they come out twins think of what else you can determine write on paper and say after two years rent over you wrote it on paper two years later you are standing in your own house where you can set the rules and not have anyone harass you do you believe this that means there's something you can write about your job and say in the name of jesus by october i am employed gainfully employed and then you write a salary structure lord i'm trusting you 150 to 200 000. while you are writing it those who don't know god say you are a stupid person don't mind them don't be angry they are only revealing to you what they have not been taught so don't argue you argue you have brought yourself down you write it by october you are in a job 150,000 for what he said he's able to do are we together yes you can make up your mind and say in the name of Jesus I love God but I'm not going to marry a fool I won't marry a stupid man I'm going to marry somebody that loves God loves me and is serious while you are saying it your friends will say you, you better just say yes to any man that comes so the way we do this thing now go online find any photo you want click like on facebook pursue that person till he says yes and marry quietly that is their own way and they will give you one or two testimonies of those who it worked for did they tell you they are in peace now you say it and you confess and you don't just confess as a lady and stop there you now say okay i understand that life is about partnership lord what is my contribution you can't sit down not doing anything and want God to carry his son that he has refined and worked upon. Worked diligently upon and brought out the best in him and, and just give you. God is not unjust. 
are we together lord what do i need to do and god starts working on you materialism throw it out be mouthy and talking anyhow throw it out you must be of a meek and a quiet spirit you want to marry a great man this your talk talk you will tear down his business god has helped this guy before your arrival you won't come as a destroyer are you ready and so you are he's walking he's taking it out of you in two months you have you are transformed you have become such a virtuous lady you who will be running your mouth talking all kinds of things you will say if if the guy does not have this if there's no jeep i will marry god has worked on you and that way he can now bring you to the person he has destined for you and you will now be a blessing the same way as a guy any lady you see ah this lady is pretty you are not doing anything you are not serious you don't know god you don't know the loss of life there's no structural establishment god is not helping you yet you are just standing and making noise the systems of god oh i want to be a great pastor and you start a church one year two years three years you are still on four members then you start criticizing and say it's not everybody that has crowd oh, keep quiet you are not getting something find out lord what what am i missing and god says one no wisdom two the level of grace there's no result three people are not being changed everybody you prayed for there's no testimony why should people come members are not idiots they will run to where god will visit them criticize them they will not stop members are not stupid in this nigeria of today oh no no people are wise you can keep running your mouth against people while people look for where their solutions are in the rain they will stand in the sun they will stand because what they are going through is, is worse than the sun so they will stand anywhere to make sure they receive please i want you to make up your mind today that anything that is not working in your life just know remember what i said stop guessing stop guessing stop guessing just calm down invite the holy spirit spirit of the living god i am not getting something i am not getting something a meek heart i am not getting something you gave me a beautiful wife now i hate her no affection for my wife again you bless me i'm about to throw my wife out of the house i don't give money nothing what is wrong spirit of the living god help me help me and then light comes dwell with them according to knowledge ah that means there's something i do not understand i think my wife is another man now the bible is bailing me out are we together yes so the next time you meet your wife and she asks you she say how was the how was the um, how was your job today and you say fine say no give me details you won't get angry you will know that that's how women are dwell with them according so you will start we went by 7 a.m uh -huh. by eight o'clock they gave us tea uh -huh. they, you are paying that price because you now understand the systems while you are paying that price what are you going to get a reward you will get a hug you will get a nice meal and you will get you a darling you see that you made adjustment or you can stand and brag and say me i'm a one word man and punish yourself and your life will not go forward how about employees that never get promoted and think it's just demons if you like pour one gallon of anointing oil in your head you are not productive when they want to downsize people they give you you came to work two months they gave you warning you are not productive sir customer relations zero friendliness at work zero on the job zero experience zero humility to learn zero initiative zero even if i'm the one who employed you you are going yes you are going that you are a member of coin you are not productive so instead of just sitting down to get angry and say my boss is a wicked man do you know how much that guy collects 1.2 and he's giving me fifty thousand. no lord i love my boss i pray for him in the name of jesus i declare he is a leader there is something he knows that is setting him above he may not be a very nice man but in the name of jesus i pray for him and i love him and you walk up to him and say sir i just want to say thank you i've been working here eight months and i appreciate your mentorship and your leadership i just brought this wine to say thank you he say what, what what is it for i mean i'm, I'm paying you say, no 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 sir i want to thank you much more than the salary you are changing my life if there is anything that can make me improve 
I am ready to learn. Always know that you are finding a very worthy mentee in me. Thank you, sir. And you go out. You have programmed something. He will act as if he did enter him. Keep watching. The day promotion is coming, and then somebody now comes to say, Do you know this person is Yoruba? He says, See, Shut up. It's my company, it's my job. You gave him memories, you showed him that you were ready to learn. The moment you step out, he writes your name. Thank God, this is the person I've been looking for. And then he calls you one day and gives you a very difficult task. And you start saying, Kai, my boss has been on my case for two months. He's testing you. He's seeing that you are the next person who should be the director of that department. He, you, have, you are earning his trust, but your lack of understanding is making you interpret it as wickedness. You brought your boss's name for uh, uh, this thing. Uh, uh, miracle service you dropped it on and not just you didn't just write his name you say oh god punish this guy frustrate the tokens of this and that whereas listen if you had understanding and wisdom you would know that that's your lifting why does he ask me to stay back when others are going and then he gives me a hard job and then he shouts at me and i apologize and he does not say sorry he's not a fool there's something he knew that made him the boss keep watching while he's acting he's taking note one day he calls you and says look um i know that it's not my character to do this but i want you to know that i am absolutely impressed i have watched you for six months all the other people are arguing around those who are insulting him and then he lifts you overnight and then you continue praying for him again will he be perfect no he would do foolish things he would do stupid things but he's still your boss one day he calls you and says look you are so smart why are you still working in this corporation i think you are smart enough to have your own company and he says look call abc and tell them i said they should help you and in three years you have become a ceo of yourself you have become colleagues brothers and sisters lack of wisdom is destroying us are we not seeing this thing our interpretation about people and life is a product of a, a bankruptcy of life. We call light darkness. We call darkness light. Are we together? We call a process failure. We call failure defeat. We don't know how to allocate names based on wisdom. We call everything everything. But God is teaching us tonight that the kingdom of god has systems i came with a fire burning in my spirit tonight that if you can learn the systems of god you will laugh when others are frowning and they will ask you why are you frowning and then you say there's a light that i see that's why i'm laughing you know in spite of all the darkness that surrounds me and this light that I see only comes alive every time I hear your voice. It comes, it comes alive every time I hear your voice. There's a joy in my heart, in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy in my soul only comes alive every time i hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time i hear your voice and there's a peace hey, in my heart in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and these beats that I have only comes alive every time I hear your voice it comes it comes alive every time I hear your voice Every time I hear your voice. Do you know why? Because you know 
you don't rejoice when things happen you rejoice to make them happen it says rejoice in the lord always so you don't rejoice just because you feel like no the holy ghost moves you you have rent you are writing trouble you are writing no child you are writing no job you are writing no wife you are writing and at the end of it you are dancing and people say ah, i've been hearing a song you say no 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 it's not it. i am dancing because this is what happens knowledge are you hearing what i'm saying now and people look at you and say ah promise would you is it not you that i saw the landlord embarrassing you you claim you are going to church and you can't pay simple forty thousand. the moment you hear don't worry the normal thing is agitation but use intelligence in the spirit you get back and say lord i may not have forty thousand now but i have you i have peace i have joy i may go through embarrassment now but i know that the god i serve the god i serve the god i serve can arise for me they may mock you and say all kinds of things know that a mockery is a sign that satan is already agitated by your success there is something he's seeing mockery is a mystery in the spirit it's a sign that your result is appearing already let me tell you hear this hear this if anybody mocks you they gave you a sign that something is already arriving i promise you know this i'm teaching you deep mysteries mockery is a mystery madam are you a man or a woman this is 10 years and you are not married Ooh, start rejoicing don't cry it's a sign that a parcel has left heaven something is coming satan can see and so he says look frustrate them men walk by their senses do something frustrate them but those who are spiritual know they get inside the room and start dancing lord you are so good hey you are worthy of all my praise lord you are so good you are exalted as a love most high Lord, you are so good. You are worthy of all my praise. Lord, you are so good. You are exalted as the Lord most high. Listen, and then everything starts agitating you. You go to the place of work, they are insulting you. You come back for the hazards, they are insulting you. Don't, don't cry. If you cry, you are not wise. You begin to rejoice and you go to satan satan what did you see that is making you restless what have you seen what did you see about my baby that is making because you see the attacks were not like that the attacks are a reaction satan has lived long in this planet he knows we walk by sight but for those who have been able to grow spiritually you don't find their tears you say satan if I will ever cry is to God, oh, it's not to you. Job was in a state in his life where nothing was working. Job was on the ground, sat down on the ground, and his wife told him, He said, Cause God and die. Job said, Why are you talking like one of these stupid women? Ha! God, though he slay me. Though he slay me. Are we together now? Job's friends came from everywhere. And everybody was talking every kind of nonsense. Let me tell you. One of the worst things that can happen to you. Is to sit down and allow your life to be a subject of debate. From people who are bringing all kinds of useless opinions. But you love God. Why did you have the accident? But you love why? <laughs> joy joy forever who has killed your joy today i show you that it's an attack over something that is arriving who has killed your joy you prayed about finances your destiny helper is about to come but the devil is wrinkling your face with trouble hey they didn't pay salary i understand i understand i wanted to eat well today now that you cannot eat god you are faithful now you be God, Almighty God, 
You know me, my Lord. You know me, my Lord. Now you be God. Now you be God. The Almighty God. You know me, my Lord. You know me, my Lord. Now you be God. Now you be God. Almighty God. That's how you know it's behind. and destiny I can't be too mature to stop believing the word no sir it is the foolishness of men to stop believing God for anything God cannot do cannot be done anything God cannot do cannot be done no in tongues for one minute.
please hold hands together everywhere inside and outside and let's begin to pray in the spirit this results we must command it results are commandable those online follow us hold hands with everybody close to you any nation day or night go ahead connect in the spirit inside outside pray that I'm teaching you and I promise you your life will surprise you we're going to take some time to pray that's why I'm stopping here I just sense that grace to pray prayer point number one I insist that I must succeed lift your voice and pray don't be quiet open your mouth everything Adam called Success is my destiny. I have decided to walk with Jesus No turning back No turning back I have decided to walk with Jesus No turning back No turning back Prophesy your desire I have decided the wisdom to walk with Jesus No turning back No turning back no people to laugh at you while you walk the principles of the kingdom though men forsake me still I will follow no turning back no turning, no turning back though men forsake me still I will follow no turning back no
point number two lord grace for obedience to walk the mysteries of the kingdom till they produce for me lift your voice and pray grace 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 to apply the kingdom. Grace to apply the kingdom. The mysteries of the anointing. The mysteries for prosperity. The mysteries for peace. For progress. For influence. Grace, grace, grace. You need grace. Pray. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Don't think we are rounding up. We have some prayers to do. Listen, I want you to mention the areas of challenge in your life and say, Lord, what mystery, what system in the kingdom are the results of this pain tied to reveal to me? Lift your voice and pray. Mention them. Don't keep quiet. Lord, my growth rate is slow. What is the system in the kingdom that is responsible for speed? I cry for revelation. Are you praying? Are you praying? Lord, I love you. I've seen the anointing on my life, but my finances are dying. Living from hand to mouth, what allocation in the kingdom is responsible for that result? Lord, I love you. I enjoy a healthy prayer life. My prayer life is robust, but there are no helpers in my life. What am I missing? What am I missing? No man was the captain of the Syrian army, but, but, but he was a valiant man in war. He excelled in an area, but there was an area that was bankrupt. Show me, open my eyes. Open my eyes, open my eyes, open my eyes. Keep praying. Everyone that asks it, receive it. Everyone that asks it, receive it. Everyone that asks it, receive it. Everyone that seeks, finds, and to him that knocks, the door shall be open. We knock on that door. Jesus, the door, reveal to me. Don't stop praying. La paroto sope kato shekete ni kata Enka na kato sakata kata Shala parakata kakato shokotos Epre koto soto bakata Matariata so sekete Hallelujah Hallelujah Prayer point number three Every door that opened before and then closed must open again no oh. it must open again no oh. lift your voice and cry lord wherever i missed it i asked for mercy but that door must open again you showed me favor once you must show me favor again you gave me victory once you must give me victory again pray you 
send me help us once they must appear again my hand has tasted prosperity once it must come back again I enjoyed speed before I cried for restoration I once was a landlord now I'm a tenant take me back oh God restore my glory restore my honor restore my glory restore my honor restore the anointing I used to carry the healing anointing once but it no longer is working restore it oh God restore the fire you are away you're seated on the front unto him who sits upon the white horse? It's unto you. Who sits upon the white horse? You are Yahweh. Hey. You are. For those who were not around last week, please, please, I want you to get the teaching. I shared a very powerful mystery. I'll recap on it very quickly and then we will pray. Hallelujah. Such an anointing in this place. He's seated on the throne. He is Yahweh. He is seated on the throne. Hallelujah. One of the greatest blessings personally upon my life aside from my love and the revelation of the Holy Spirit to me one of the greatest assets in my life is a comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom. Please listen, pay attention. Please give me a the mysteries of the kingdom i told us last week that a mystery is a secret code of operation witchcraft works by mysteries the kingdom works upon mysteries success is not a mistake deliverance is not a mistake healing is not a mistake favor is not a mistake breakthrough is not a mistake all through from Genesis to Revelation, the Bible is full of men who dare to understand the principles of the kingdom. And on the strength of that understanding, they did exploits. And I just want to share one principle that the Lord has been putting upon my heart. Listen, God began with us last week. If you understand this singular principle that I'm teaching you, 
many of you that will be your gift for the miracle service and you can literally walk out of here and guarantee that you will be a champion hallelujah i began to share with us what i call the dominion mystery of tithing the dominion mystery of tithing please pay attention the dominion mystery of tithing that there is a relationship between a tenth portion and a man's dominion upon the surface of the earth many preachers have taught the controversial subject of tithing and they have taught it only within the circumference of finances and whilst that is true there is more to it there are so many of us here that are stealing from our future and authorizing the powers of darkness to make and keep us victims but tonight i pray that the light will shine in the name of jesus christ the bible tells us in the book of genesis how that when god made the garden of eden watch this the bible says god put adam there and he gave him an instruction he said of every tree in this garden you may freely eat I give you access not ownership I told you in the kingdom we don't own things those who own things are rebels in the kingdom no man is an owner in the kingdom everyone only has access we are stewards high blood pressure is because we own things stroke and hypertension when you own things you worry about them when you own things you are concerned about keeping them God never gives a man ownership. He gives every man access. The prodigal son had access, but he wanted ownership. From the day ownership started in his life, lack started. He became a victim of the very situations that he was head over until he returned back to access. And so the Bible tells us that Adam was given an instruction that in the very garden of Eden, there was a tree is that true and he said of every tree you may eat but this one is my portion leave it to me the key to your dominion in this garden is not just prayer and fasting there were no bible studies in the garden of eden there were no apostles no prophets no miracle service only an instruction that obeying it will guarantee dominion there were no churches in the garden of eden only the presence of god and a heart willing to obey and he says this is the tithe of the garden keep this tithe it is my designated portion for as long as you honor my instruction and keep this portion nothing will stop you from having access are you getting what i'm saying satan knew this and so when he came and beguiled eve he made them to touch of the tithe the moment man touched of the tithe, that very factor that made creation respond to him was lifted. And at once, everything began to fight him. The very leaves he was supposed to dominate now became his covering. He started running and we see fear, we see lies, we see intimidation because of one instruction, violating the designated portion. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Then the Bible tells us, watch this. The Bible tells us how that he was sent out of a land of abundance and supply and peace and prosperity and goodness out of Eden to a land of struggle. The earth was caused for his sake. There was no longer dominion over the earth. God never caused man. God caused the earth. And by causing the earth, creation also responded to that. Watch this. I told us last week that there is an ability of God that comes upon a man that makes everything under the sun work in his favor. This is what the Bible calls the blessing. The blessing is a dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit that makes everything, including problems, challenges, everything to work for you. When that ability of the Spirit is upon you, no matter what happens in your life it must work for you it's a law let me tell you what it means to be cursed to be cursed 
does not mean that you are carrying just an evil pronouncement. No. A cause is an atmosphere. A cause is like an anointing in a negative sense upon your life that makes creation fight you. Everything fights you. Opportunities fight you. Friends fight you. A blessing fights you. When a man who is cursed stands, his atmosphere not only fights him, but it fights anybody who wants to help him. Are you getting the point now? So the idea of cause is not just about what happens in covenants. The earth has been authorized by a divine pronouncement to fight anyone who dishonors the designated portion. Listen, let me tell you something. This system we are working in is already cursed. It's a cost system. There is nothing you can do about it. Your only key is to exempt yourself. And there is a law. It's an ancient mystery of exemption that exempts you from the inevitable vicissitudes of life. A job cannot exempt you. An educational qualification cannot exempt you. Nothing aside from the operation of the laws of the spirit can exempt you. Now the Bible tells us about Abraham who was an idol worshiper that came from a land called Or of the Chaldeans. In Genesis chapter 12, the Bible tells us how that God told Abraham, come out of your kindred and your father's house to a land that I will show you. He began to propose to Abraham how that he would bless him and told Abraham, I will make you the landlord of the earth. Something will happen upon your life that will make the earth to become your possession. And then in chapter 14, when he went to capture Lot and bring him back, the Bible says he met a strange man called Melchizedek, who was a king of an ancient city of peace called Salem, the ancient name for Jerusalem. The Hebrew is Jerusalem, an ancient city of peace. A man, according to Hebrews, with no origin, no beginning, no end, no father, no mother. A man who was operating in the office of the priesthood. And the Bible says, when Abraham encountered this priest, a transaction happened between two of them. Please follow me. The Bible says, Abraham took the tenth of all and gave unto Melchizedek. Do you believe that? He took a tenth of all, gave unto Melchizedek. When he gave a tenth of all to Melchizedek, Melchizedek received it and did what? He activated the blessing. He said, Blessed be Abraham, son of the Most High, possessor of the heavens and the earth. And at once the earth started walking. Abimelech wanted to take his wife. That is a bad situation. Is that not true? But because of the blessing, Abimelech released the wife and gave him gifts. Gave him gifts. A man, one moment you want to take away his wife. Another moment you not only become his friend, you honor him with gifts. There is a mystery that governs this creation. Do you know what we call bad luck? You know what we call misfortune? Misfortune is not just an issue of witchcraft. Like ancestry. Misfortune is the resultant effect of taking from the designated portion. There is already an authorization. Whether there are witches in your family or not. That every time you touch God's portion, you violate a law. The earth starts reacting to it at once. Are you getting blessed now? The destiny of Abraham was opened up on account of this portion. Jacob, who was the um, son from the lineage of Abraham. Watch this. Jacob worked for Laban. Is that not true? Laban cheated Jacob. Right? He was about to give him a daughter and he said, I will work seven years. And then he exchanged Rachel with Leah and he worked for another seven years. Then he had been with him six years. Twenty years of oppression from a man. But it still didn't matter because something was upon him. And he said, alright, this is what will happen. Take your spotted calf. I will take calves that are not spotted. The Bible tells us like begets like. And Jacob said, from the calves that are not spotted, 
if they give birth, we will watch. If the unspotted calf give birth to spotted children, they are my own. And the Bible says he took ordinary stick. It was not an ordinary stick, brothers and sisters. And the cows who come to mate, just looking at a stick, a white cow or a, 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 a spotless um, animal will now give birth to his, another animal that is spotted. It is not just creation was working for him. When, so even if you cheated him, something happened. And the cows, or the animals started giving birth. And Laban said, my goodness, what is happening? Leave my presence. That is a man who has honored God with his portion. Today I want to show you a dimension of the dominion mystery of Titan. Watch this. Do you know why many people never walk in kingdom authority? Many churches are barring producing posters. Now I'm not against that, but I'm saying every week, hand bills, every week running around, scrounging for members, threatening people with causes. Let me tell you why. Because there is a law that they are violating consistently and God is no respecter of person the laws of the spirit has equal value in any territory equal value is God speaking to us tonight when Moses died please look up everyone when Moses died the Bible tells us how that he told Joshua, he said, Moses, my servant is dead. And now Mo, uh, uh, Joshua had a responsibility to throw down Jericho. And he was afraid because the Bible tells us that Jericho was a mighty city. Do you know the fence of Jericho? According to scripture, five chariots could stand on the fence. How will you break through that fence? That is a challenge. But he said, I will show you something. Watch this. 5 verse 1 of Joshua open our eyes oh God and let men and women walk away from their chains forever in the name of Jesus Christ 5 verse 1 and it came to pass it will be a fast reading when all the kings of the Amorites who were on the side of Jordan westward and all the kings of the Canaanites who were by the sea heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of the Jordan from before the children of Israel until we were passed over that their hearts melted neither was their spirit in them anymore because of the children of Israel. Now watch this. They were about to challenge Jericho and when the other kings had of the mighty things that God did. The kings tried to decipher. What is it about Israel. That makes them always win battles. What is it that makes them. Whether you have a greater armory than them. Is insignificant. They will throw you down. There was a mystery of dominion they were working with. And God was about to introduce Joshua. Joshua was just a young ruler. Taking over from Moses. And this is what he told him. Let's see the mystery. Let's take chapter 5 verse 2. 5 verse 2. Are you there? Now let's look at it. It says, At that time the Lord said unto Joshua, Do what? He said, Make sharp knives. He's about to teach him how to continue in the steps of Moses. Make sharp knives and circumcise again the children of Israel the second time. Let's continue. 3. And Joshua made sharp knives and circumcised all the children at the heel of the foreskins. And then, and this is the reason why he circumcised them. All the people that came out of Egypt were males, even all the men of war. They died in the wilderness after they came out of Egypt. Five. Now all the people that came out were circumcised. But all the people that were born in the wilderness by the way, when they came forth out of Egypt were not circumcised are you seeing that now all those who had been winning and making israel make progress it was because they were circumcised but he said these guys are not circumcised and if you don't circumcise them something dangerous is about to happen to you verse 6 
it says for the children of israel walked 40 years in the wilderness and all of that and all of that let's go to verse 7 and their children whom he raised up in their stead them joshua circumcised for they were uncircumcised because they had not circumcised them by the way verse 8 watch this and it came to pass when they were done circumcising all the people they abode in their places watch this joshua is afraid of conquering jericho and the walls that are before him and god said no problem heaven wants to come into your affairs but you need to authorize them it says circumcise the people the moment the circumcision finished verse 9 let's see what happened and the lord said to joshua this day i have what rolled away the reproach of egypt my goodness so all the while they were carrying the reproach because they were not circumcised he said the moment a circumcision a separation a cutting away happened he said this day i have rolled away the reproach of egypt from you wherefore the name of the place to this day is called gilgal go to verse 13 let's see something mysterious that happened verse 13 everyone look up and it came to pass listen joshua was by jericho that he lifted up his eyes immediately after circumcision he saw a strange man who came and said i'm ready to partner with you you have invited the realm of the spirit into your affair that man had been there all the while but there was no access he said you need help you can't conquer jericho by your strength the realm of the spirit wants to partner with you but the secret is the circumcision the moment it happened the bible says he lifted up his eyes and he saw a man with a sword and he went to him and said are you for us or against us next verse and he said nay but i come i'm also a warrior but i fight in the spirit the same way you guys are warriors i am also a captain i lead a battalion i help men on earth who invite us to come seated on the throne and he said and joshua fell on his face and did worship and he said unto him what saith my lord to his servant next verse watch this and the captain of the lord's host said unto joshua lose thy shoe from off your foot from the place you stand this holy ground and joshua did so next verse now jericho was straightly short watch this let me just save our time are you noticing what is happening there immediately after the circumcision he saw the captain then the captain started revealing to him the strategy this is how you will take jericho otherwise they would have died there because physically speaking jericho was insurmountable now watch this your tithe in the spirit is similar to this spiritual circumcision your tithe is an authorization for the realm of the spirit to come into your affairs and partner with you this is the reason why even human beings for men men because men are the carriers of the seed men are instructed to be circumcised why not sir? how can a man come from heaven we believe children are the heritage of the lord but you will give birth to a man and he will still go to circumcision are you getting the point now because the moment circumcision happens the realm of the spirit comes come come watch this you are on your own minding your business trying to win the war of life by yourself and god is saying you are doing this thing sensually you are doing this thing carnally you never will be able to do it it says honor me with your tithe and the moment that happens there is already a spiritual arsenal that comes to work with you and that which you have becomes supernatural not just natural not just natural it becomes supernatural the reason why there is a crowd of people inside and outside look at this right to the road right everywhere let me tell you the reason why it is not just because this is a great ministry it is because we have 
second on the assistance of the supernatural there are some people standing outside who are even shocked that they are here when you see them you imagine there is no amount of invitation you would have given them to come but for the realm of the spirit he said i am come as a captain in other words the same way you fight there are spiritual arsenals to wait in you have been trying to fight every battle in your life just by using physical arsenals and the lord is saying the earth is fighting you when you return my designated portion you authorize the realm of the spirit to begin to help you this ministry by the grace of god we are faithful never for any reason and by any means under the sun will we touch god's portion not out of fear but out of revelation my life as a person god is my witness that i honor him and that portion that belongs to him this is why i'm dangerously protected it's not about a man no 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 dangerously protected I share with you a simple but powerful mystery when pastor jakes was sharing and he said they picked somebody from his position and makes him a deputy manager deputy manager with interviews on phone you went to school and you are intelligent is that how it is done let me tell you the blessing breaks the rules for you it breaks the rules for you yes when men say it cannot be done it breaks the rules the problem is that we are too carnal we have intellectualized life life is spiritual say it after me one more time shout it like you believe it life is spiritual all that you see is not all that there is those who are controlling this world are those who have an advantage of the spirit You are Yahweh, you are seated on the throne. You are Yahweh, you are seated on the throne. Tonight God is asking you, are you ready to stop struggling in life? Let me tell you, struggling is a cause. If you ever convince yourself that God is the author of your struggle I am telling you now struggling is a cause it's a cause from the pit of hell you will never be able to serve God if all you are doing in your life is looking for money because money is not missing you were never supposed to look for it hallelujah you will never be able to serve God if you allow this mammon the spirit that takes the heart of men away from God to begin to pursue other things trying to look for earthly relevance there are people who want to build a house but they want to build it physically by putting blocks you will die trying to build that house because there is a spiritual dimension to everything give us James chapter 2 verse 26 I hope we'll be able to find it I'm reserving it for next week by the way next week friday here is going to be a powerful vigil hallelujah yes next week is going to be a vigil it's going to be a time of prayer and worship we're inviting guests from all over now watch this the lord showed me this mystery and it changed my life i shared it in abuja i was reserving it to start the teaching next week but your hunger has tempted me to go to that scripture and let's let's touch it a bit Paul, watch this. Oh, sorry, James, the apostle James was teaching on faith and works, corresponding action. Is that true? And while he was teaching on faith and works, he just feared off and brought a powerful principle in an attempt to explain faith and work. He, comp he, he compares it with something. He says, For as the body without what a spirit now all of you watch this guy the only reason that i can interact with him is because there is a spirit is that true if the spirit leaves this body what happens i will reject the body all of you will reject the body 
are you getting me and we will have to bury him because it is a body though complete it has no spirit are you getting me now i want you media please keep it there keep it there so that we'll... i want you to remove the word us and just read just the first line to the comma are you ready want to read one more time one more time for the body without the spirit is dead it is said for the body of man for any material thing that does not have a spiritual force backing it it is dead for any material business without a spirit equivalent is dead for any church without a spirit agency backing it is like a dead body it says for a body without a spirit so the nation of israel was like a body without a spirit and he said joshua you will lose you need the spirit component and circumcision authorized the spirit when the realm of the spirit came they said let's go we can take jericho and with one shout this was what david knew that as big as goliath was he was a body without a spirit the other people were looking from the three dimensional realm ah goliath was shouting and david looked at him he said i see a body but there is no covenant no spirit what is the force in the spirit backing you and goliath said am i a dog even if you fight me honor me and david said you are joking you don't know who is talking i'm not alone I, I, you are an uncircumcised see the word again see the word again you are an uncircumcised i would have been afraid of you i would have considered your threat if you were circumcised where is the ties that connects you to the realm of the spirit and he said i'm circumcised i may be weak but there is a government that backs me when you get this key my brother you will run as if satan does not exist i promise you i promise you this you can jump around for deliverance you can hop from everywhere but the body without a spirit is dead so your boss in the office knows this and there is a spirit that backs his chair you just get up with your your certificate and sit on that chair and it becomes too hot because all in that office is not just a chair it's a throne there are spirits back in it that's why the bible said they that knew their god they that have connected with a spiritual advantage they shall be strong shall do exploits rise from the realm of being natural and tap into the supernatural realm where the realm of the spirit assists you and your life will be nothing short of a wonder how many people listen i have given up on trying to do things by my strength because i know i'm wasting my time the body in the same way the next time somebody stands and threatens you that is a body without a spirit see no matter what talk people talk i only consider you if you are connected spiritually are you getting what i'm saying i will deal with you the body without the spirit is dead i will make sure you leave this job the body without the spirit is dead you only pay attention to a man who has risen beyond the three-dimensional realm because there is an assistance whether demonic or whatever are you getting me circumcision is that key there are many who continue ah we have a an extent we're going to be touching on the matters of the kingdom next week friday i'll be showing you certain secrets of the kingdom that it will make you almost like a drunk man you will get up and jump and shout tonight all we are doing in this miracle service is by an ancient mystery crying and asking heaven and say lord 
behold the sick people and already in this place there are more angels the arsenals in the realm of the spirit are more than what you know that's always what happens whenever you see me come to sit down i smile around the stage i would have died of hypertension if i'm responsible for your healing but we have made arrangement already we are covered oh yes absolutely we are covered heaven is jealous jealous to protect his own because god's designated portion listen when you steal your tithe you have not only destroyed your destiny you have stolen from your children every time you don't tithe just know that your firstborn is in trouble if you don't do it again you are affecting your children because he said i will pour you a blessing you will not have room in other words no matter how greedy you are your lifetime cannot exhaust it so when you steal you have endangered the destiny of your children god's portion if anyone ever told you tithing is all about money that person lied to you or was sincerely wrong tithing has nothing to do with money it's the law of open heavens let me surprise you if your tithe is 10,000 and you carry 1 million and give charity foundation and you don't tithe that 10,000 you are operating under a closed heaven don't convince yourself that because you gave 1 million the heavens is open it is called due process I'll teach you next week there is a protocol to spiritual things are you getting my point tithing is what opens your heavens and then anything you do under that open heavens will prosper if you like carry one billion give charity organization give for the building of church if you are not a tighter i guarantee you the bible says your heaven shall be brass and your earth iron all of them are conductors of heat get set for heat in your life When the heaven is open, if, not, if for nothing we know there is ventilation, fresh air, the wind comes. But when your heaven is brass and your earth is iron, many of us here, no matter what prayer happens in this, that's why we took the communion. The devourer is authorized to destroy anyone who is not spiritually circumcised. The devourer is not a demon the devourer is a principality even jesus christ acknowledged them that's why he said he is the head of principalities it destroys men's lives on legal basis this earth is too wicked for you to allow chance no i pray for people all the time people with cancers hiv tuberculosis communicable diseases imagine if i refuse to be faithful i would die like a chicken because most times i lay hands on people and there are medical doctors here they know that some of these things are physically not healthy but i'm circumcised my goodness you invoke my name in a shrine both the invoker the invokee and the ordinance it they will burn to ashes ashes no matter how mad a man is, he doesn't enter fire by mistake. He can cross the road and you say he's a madman. But when he sees fire, he fears off. When heaven backs you, let me tell you, your life becomes a wonder even to you. This ministry is a wonder to everyone. Not just because we are so smart. We are just stupid enough to involve the realm of the spirit. Because by the arm of flesh, shall no man prevail you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne oh sing oh fountains of the deep cry out kadosh you are mighty on your throne You are mighty on your own. Break forth, O oh Spirit of the deep. Cry out, God, you 
what mighty on your throne mighty on your throne you are 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 mighty in this place. 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 You are mighty in my life. 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 Hallelujah. We are going to pray just two prayer points and then I'll begin to minister. You are mighty in this place. They that are with us are greater, greater, greater. Mantos Kalabandikalia. There shall no man be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Rababa Prayer point number one. Oh God. By the blood I cry for mercy where I've allowed the devourer I have stolen from my tithe your designated portion I've allowed the devil deceive me that the tithe is a gimmick by preachers now I realize and I ask for your mercy lift your voice and pray inside and outside lift your voice your tithe is your spiritual circumcision you pray die for mercy Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Ask for fresh grace. Oh. And make a vow that you will never miss out on your tithe again. Make, make a vow. Not by fear. Listen, 
I give you an assurance and I pledge the name of the Lord upon this if you take what I've shared tonight for many of you this is your secret it's your password to a mysterious level of lifting a level of lifting that will surprise you as much as surprise those who are your spectators God's portion the time his designated portion that makes creation to walk in your favor makes your enemies to walk in your favor mysterious but powerful consistent hallelujah just one more prayer and then we'll trust to see the mighty things that the Lord is going to do I want you to lift your voice in one minute we are going to pray in the next five minutes listen I want you to confront the gates of your destiny and I want you to pray and say you must open up this night lift your voice it's the seventh month the gates of my destiny must open up by the power of the Holy Ghost 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 just add one more prayer because I see the angels of the Lord already moving let me just add one more prayer listen I want you to pray listen there are giants on every mountain every one of us is holding a prayer request because there is an aspect of your life the devil has refused to let you go but tonight i want you to lift up your voice and prophesy to the heavens and challenge those powers and say i must go tonight lift your voice inside and outside cry I must walk away that terminal disease must die today that cancer must die today that HIV must go today that barrenness must go today that stagnation must go today Koinonia, pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Oh 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 oh
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, before I begin ministering, please, can I have that family if they are here? The family that came with the poison person. Are they here? Please, let's save time. If they are here, just signify by wave of hand and then run out here quickly. There's a lot to do tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. While that is happening, I want everybody to follow up on your prayer request. If you are yet to write, please one minute so that when we begin to flow, we just move and we don't stop. So you have one minute while you are praying in tongues. Just write your prayer request very quickly. So that when it's time to pass it, you just pass it very fast. Manta la dosa so predishi la koria da balarabas. Make sure you don't keep silent. Write the issues that have threatened you and watch the God of heaven turn them into testimonies. What can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without you. So tell me, what can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without you. tonight and we declare that this atmosphere is completely under the influence of the Holy Spirit and that everybody here within this vicinity comes under the influence of the Spirit. Lord that no one will walk out of this place without a touch of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to begin to minister to us and while I prayed for this in the course of the week, again and again, I kept seeing, please pay attention. Can I have strings, 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 strings? Hallelujah. I kept seeing again and again, spirits, watch this, spirits leeching onto people. This is what I kept seeing. Like a man sitting on a man's shoulder. I saw this over many people. And I said, Lord, what is the meaning of this? And the Lord began to, re to reveal to me that these are the spirits that cause setbacks upon the lives of men and upon the lives of families. And the Lord said, when I come up, he said, the first thing I should do is dislodge those powers. Dislodge those powers. I saw them like a man, like a child who sit down on the shoulder of another, bringing a resistance to your destiny. And I'm about to pray for you right now. There are so many people under the sound of my voice. So many people under the sound of my voice. They must go. Heaven is here to assist us. Lift your hands everyone. Inside and outside. There will be such mighty deliverances outside. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I even see someone 
I'm uh, suffering from severe migraine but then that migraine you think is just sickness we are about to make a shout brothers and sisters this shout is like the sling of David it looks ordinary but there is a circumcision upon it it's a shout that rises beyond the earth realm it's a shout that rises beyond the intelligence of men it's a shout that is like a battle sound to the angelic it's like a battle sound because your destiny must open up right now there will be mighty deliverances mighty deliverances hallelujah i'm going to pray for us and then at the count of three we are going to shout that name jesus my goodness i sense the anointing of the spirit heavy the power of god will fall upon many of you in a mighty way and you will see this spirit some of you are already feeling uncomfortable it's the power of god especially many outside there will be mighty deliverances lift your hands now thank you jesus father in the name of your son i pray right now and i sound an alarm in the realm of the spirit i decree and i declare by the anointing of the holy ghost that the fire of the spirit oh restrain not your hand oh mighty one we pray that you arise as a man of war there are destinies at the mercy of your touch i pray that by this shout oh god there be a visitation that by this shout oh god everyone here under any spirit help them please help them bring them out everyone here under any influence as we shout let fire catch them and visit their foundations and i command every power that at this shout you will let god's people go inside and outside one two three shout that name i command witchcraft powers of darkness right now right now in the name of jesus inside and outside inside and outside inside and outside the fire of god is falling on people falling on people i cause witchcraft i cause witchcraft i cause witchcraft I cause witchcraft in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Malatata. I'm seeing altars on fire. That's what I see in the spirit. Please bring them out. Altars on fire. One more time, we're going to shout. Physically, many of you will feel the fire. Physically, physically. Right now, in the name of Jesus. One, two, three. Jesus! Oh yes! That fire! That fire! fire! Of the Holy Ghost! Brings deliverance! Outside! 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 Miracles are happening! Miracles are happening! Mighty deliverance! By the power of the Holy Ghost! You must let them go! You must let them go! Right now! By fire! The 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 lift your hands there are people here as i begin to speak the holy ghost will locate them i'm seeing ladies ladies a man comes to you in the night and sleeps with you right now by fire oh god locates them right now right now right now i cause that spirit i cause that spirit ladies ladies a miracle is happening to sisters I cost those I cost those I 
I'm seeing a family in the vision of the Lord. Everyone in that family has been tied down by witchcraft. Lord, where is that person in this place? Inside and outside. Right now as I speak, the power of God comes upon that person. Right now, wherever that person is, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, the power of God comes upon that person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. This is what the Lord is telling me. As we begin to pray, miracles will start happening. Lift your voice and break every chain holding you down. Go ahead. This is what God is telling me. please lift your hands lift your hands i hear my spirit families families god is stepping into families there are altars there are altars over families that are about to be broken as you are standing right now god is going to be visiting your family at that shout again inside and outside make sure you are participating inside and outside we are going to shout that name as you shout the name of jesus families so i see altars on fire are you ready now father any family under the yoke of bondage as they shout this name let there be a visitation one two three jesus families be free now be free now Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and ask him for a visitation again. Something serious is happening in this place. <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah lift your hands i'm hearing marital spells marital spells please lift your hands listen hear me something mighty is about to happen here the lord is ministering to me that there are people 
who there are spells tying down their marriages whether single or married right now lift your hands as I begin to speak the wind I see like a wind a whirlwind moving across this auditorium oh. it will catch up with some people right now where are they oh God visit them right now in the name of Jesus one more time we will shout that name wherever they are one, two, three Jesus I'm hearing a name Dorcas. Dorcas, a miracle is coming. Dorcas, an altar is on fire. And I'm hearing the Lord telling me a miracle. Dorcas. Dorcas. Come and stand here. Hallelujah. Who is Israel? I'm hearing a name Israel. Israel, the Lord is ministering to me. Tonight, he must let you go. Let you go. Hallelujah. Now the Lord is showing me a woman. You are here. You had a miscarriage. There is a woman here who had a miscarriage. It's like you had a child and you lost the baby. And the Lord is telling me, please help them, those under the anointing, so that we don't, this place is not rowdy. Listen, let me tell you something. The anointing of the spirit does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. The anointing does not make the difference. Without the anointing, we are just making noise here. But by the anointing, and I'm telling you this, no matter where you are, whether you are inside here or outside or right at the back, I want you to connect because God is visiting you. And every one of you must have a touch. Dorcas, where is your mother, my dear? Huh? I'm not based in Zaria, sir. No, I'm not saying she's where is she? Mina, Niger she's in Mina. Yes, we have to pray because the Lord is bringing a mighty breakthrough for your family. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Hold my hands, Father. Change the story of this lady by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus Christ. As I hold your hands, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord set you free, Madam. Look at me. Where is your husband? At home. Huh? He's at home. Why didn't he come with you? because there is a breakthrough that is a portion for him in this meeting Amen. but i'm going to pray for you yes, you believe that yes sir. you believe that yes, sir. because this is delay yes. i'm seeing delay in your yes, family sir. serious yes, delay yes, it's even becoming an issue of argument between you and your husband yes, sir. i'm seeing two of you arguing yes, sir. but the lord is saying he is bringing rest to your yes, family this Amen, in the name of jesus Amen. christ father let there be rest rest for her in the name of jesus christ you are doctors where is your mother my dear you. she stays in Kaduna why the same way you are crying is how I'm seeing your mother crying in the realm of the spirit 
and the Lord is ministering to me the Lord is saying why wouldn't she cry when the load is too much on her look at me like we shared tell your mother to get back into faithfulness in tithing are you hearing what I'm saying and even you yourself otherwise you will keep seeing repeated hardship but hold my hands in the name of Jesus Lord bring rest to this lady bring rest to her in the name of Jesus Christ Can, where is the woman that had a miscarriage there is a woman that had a miscarriage and the Lord is asking me to minister to her we may not be able to minister to everybody but there is there is someone please make sure you don't sit back the Lord is ministering to me about that person so that we'll just we'll just pray for her Dogara Dogara I'm hearing a name Dogara Dogara who is Dogara you your name is Dogara yes sir where's your dad he's at home in Kaduna. He's, he's at home in Kaduna. we have to pray for him what I'm seeing will never if they are permitting anything please um, please maybe carry them out of we're about to pray please don't worry in the name of Jesus I lay my hands right now over and I cause that spirit that wants to bring accident in the name of Jesus it will not come to pass we cancel it right now by the blood of Jesus Christ amen madam I want to pray for you the way I'm holding your hands, that's the way the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's going to begin to hold your hands and that he will cause you to move forward in your life. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration to your life and he's bringing joy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it be. You are the one with miscarriage. Why did you sit back? Now come, there's nothing embarrassing about it, madam. This is a family because I'm seeing another one happening and we must pray for you. Yes, sir. It's happening again. Yes. We have to cancel it. Okay. Huh? Yes, sir. It's not a normal thing that you are having miscarriage yes, sir. because there is a spirit that oppresses you. Yes, huh? yes, and that's what is responsible for that miscarriage. It's not just about praying, praying and saying, pray for me. Okay, you understand? Yes, it takes the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You will give birth to a baby boy. Oh. Hallelujah. Uh, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that this family will experience your touch. Madam, lay, lay your hands on your stomach. Father, there will not be miscarriage again in the name of Jesus. That's right. I see the spirit. Let her go right now. Right now, release her completely. I set her free. Lord, you showed me a baby boy. Confirm your word by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here? Dorcas, your name is Dorcas too. Your name is Dorcas too. Your daughter's name. Just stand and pray for all of you. You are Israel. I'm going to pray for you. Are you a student? We have to pray because I'm seeing the devil attacking your academics. Attacking your academics very seriously. So that they will not begin to tell you your scripts are missing. Huh? And then they will implicate you in the malpractice. The Lord is asking me to minister to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that this is broken. You are all Israel. And I'll pray with you. Let her go right now. I curse you by the God of heaven. Release her right now and let her go. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at this woman but in the realm of the spirit. All I'm seeing is a large snake. That's all I'm seeing moving around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where's the usher? Ushers. Lay your hands on this lady. Just what I do. I curse that spirit. You must release her right now in the name that is above all names there is no hiding place the light of God is against you in the name of Jesus Christ there is no hiding place for you by the blood of Jesus Christ you must release this woman is a spirit of death let her go right now in the name of Jesus Christ father may they experience your touch in the name of Jesus Christ May they experience your touch of Jesus Christ. May they experience, I curse that spirit. Let her go. Let her go right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your baby 
this thing in the name of Jesus Christ I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit there is liberty for this boy there's liberty in the name of Jesus Christ there's liberty hallelujah now all those who were brought out here under the anointing I want to, I want to speak to them now don't worry everyone out here I speak to the spirits that are tormenting you you know my voice I represent the most high at the count of three leave them and go right now one two go 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 out of them out out of them now out now never to return at your Lord leave their lives leave their destinies restoration of virtue of grace I cost that spirit from its foundation I cost it for the blood of Jesus hallelujah all those who are trusting God for jobs lift your hands I see a strange anointing in this place please don't withhold your hand don't withhold your hand there is an anointing there is an anointing sister you looking at me rejoice i see an appointment letter given to you you this lady looking at me you come i'm talking to her you are turning back you come 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 i see an appointment letter given to you there will be mighty miracles of jobs hallelujah come This is the person I'm talking about because I was praying and before I would even start I saw them handing over to you something that looks like an appointment letter right you believe me you believe me you will see it and you will stand before God's people to testify in the name of Jesus Christ I pray the Lord says I should tell you he's rolling away your reproach madam the reproach of many years is being rolled away in this season that's what the Lord is saying I should tell you the reproach of many years is being rolled away i'm seeing like a baller that's what i'm seeing a trash place where they pour dirt and i'm seeing a new seed shooting out and that's what is that's that's like a type of your destiny and the lord is saying i should tell you he's rolling away the reproach from your life in the name of jesus lift your hands and let's release miracle job if you don't believe in it put down your hand I command you by the blood of Jesus you foul spirit you have oppressed this body in the name of Jesus I break your covenant I break your ordinance there is a strong spirit that has been oppressing this lady it's not just her can you look at how many people holding one tiny lady i curse you now i curse you i curse you by the god of heaven and i curse you by my office in the name of the lord jesus christ i curse that power let her go now right now release her destiny release her family now by the blood of the eternal covenant she's free go release her now in the name of jesus christ let me tell you something listen listen people of god don't think we're playing games here i know you may see some of the things happening these are the powers that have tied down men's life it's not solved by counseling you are just moving in the physical yet in the realm of the spirit you are bound we are not embarrassed we are never embarrassed to set people free because that's what jesus said there's got to be a way of setting people free hallelujah father jobs now in the name that is above all names i want you to receive it as a prophecy over your life Lord, I declare every
everyone called jobless here by the favor of God I terminate joblessness right now by the favor of God I terminate joblessness right now anyone who has applied for any job I compel them to call you I compel them to call your loved ones I compel them to favor you anyone here called Agnes Agnes I'm hearing a name Agnes the Lord is ministering to me about one Agnes we we'll begin to pray for the sick shortly Agnes I'm hearing the name Agnes God is ministering to me he wants to bring deliverance to the family of Agnes do we have anyone there Agnes Your name is Agnes. Your name too. The family member. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. We'll begin to pray for the sick after this. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring breakthrough for this family. You showed me that you're visiting this family. Go ahead and confirm your word with signs following. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Whoever is Agnes in your family, let there be a miracle in the name of Jesus. I want to begin to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing a very serious situation here. There's someone here with a swollen leg. I don't know who that person is. Your leg, mysteriously, paining you, and it looks it's, it's like swollen. This is what I see in the vision that the Lord is showing me. Who is that person? Your leg is swollen. Which of the legs? Look what, look, if, if the devil, you remember I told you this, a body without the spirit, look what is happening to this girl. And then you just come and marry her because you think you want a wife. Are you seeing that? Is, is, if it can, look at one, two, three, four, five people holding one person. Imagine what it would do to someone's destiny. I say this without a sense of cynicism. Many of the people that God is setting free attend churches every week. Look, we need to restore the power of God in our churches and stop playing games with God. Because God's idea is not just for one platform. Hallelujah. Swollen legs. No, no, no. Don't, you, don't, you don't have to. Madam. I see. You too. Your legs. For how long? What's the situation with her? Is her leg swollen? Okay, hold on. She can't walk. Baby, how are you? Hallelujah. Please help us with the mic. Who brought her? Okay, no, it's okay, it's okay. What's your name? Annie. Annie? Your name is Anne. Agnes. Alice. Your name is Alice. You can't walk. You can walk, but your leg is bent. Oh my goodness, look at such an innocent lady. Lord, have mercy on this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the Lord will visit you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go back when I begin to pray for the sick and we let them come out. I'm just ministering to special cases. Leg, your leg. All of you who had a dream, in a dream it's like something was shot. It's like, I don't know if it was an arrow. I'm seeing something that looks like a dream. And something was shot on your legs. If the person is not here, I'm seeing someone who had that dream. 
it's like I don't know if it was like a gun or something or an or a, 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 a sharp object I know that it was it's like it was shot to your leg something beats me when I was sleeping I just woke up and screamed so blood was coming out of my legs I, I'll pray for you but this one I'm seeing I just want to flow as the Holy Spirit is directing me. It's like, it, it looks like a gun or something sharp. Huh? I was shot in the realm of the Spirit. In my dream. You were shot? Fired at you? Yes. And what happened to you? I, only, I prayed when I woke up. You from prayed when you woke up. From the, dream. the Lord is going to set you free. I know that I've talked to you once. But truly, truly, there is a spirit of delay and stagnation in your life. Because you love God. And God is going to use you in many ways. Not just in the area of the anointing, but even in the area of finances. But as it is, there are many things that are not moving in your life. Lift your hands, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, the reason why you redeem is so that we will be free. I pray that you set this gentleman free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Everything that was fired on your leg in Jesus' name, I curse it. Jesus' name. What's happening to you, madam? My leg is your leg, yes. what happened? It's just paining you or it's swollen? It's paining in this thing. It's for me to stand or to walk. Almost two years. It's broken for me. Almost two years. Which of the legs? This one. What can't you do? I, I can't stand like this. Some people are standing now. For me to stand still, it's a You can't stand straight? It's a problem for me, yes. Is it that it's shorter than another? Or what was the issue? It's not shorter than another. Okay. It's a, it's cut it? good. As I'm standing, Huh? Why is she here? She's your daughter. My father was shot in a dream by an arrow. It, according to my dad, it entered his thigh and came and out came through out. the other thigh. This is thigh. the person I'm talking about. Yes, and it, huh? it caused a physical wound on his thigh up to present. This guy Where is, is he? Here. Is he here? He's in Lagos, sir. He's in Lagos? Yes, sir. You believe God will touch him? Yes, sir. When I pray for you, call him and tell him yes, that he's been prayed for. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, because sir. this is witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Benway State. What's your name? My name is Kate. Kate. Yes, sir. From Benway State. Hold yes, my hands. Father, visit this family. You have revealed this in the name of Jesus. I cast this witchcraft. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Madam, you believe Jesus will heal you? Yes, I do. You believe with all your heart? Yes. Madam, what's your situation? Since I was sick for six months, but he used to swell up. But now I can't walk, but I'm walking with feeling sharp pain. Where? Where is the sharp pain? Okay, how about you? My leg is swollen for about five years now. Five years? I cannot stand alone. Where is which one is swollen? Oh, I see. You can't stand. I can't stand for long. For a long time. Mama, how about you? Two, two months. Yes. What's happening? I have arthritis. You have arthritis. Yes. Who else? Who again? Leg problem. Leg problem. All of you, I'm going to pray for you two. Your legs yes. swollen. Oh, you are the one who said something beat you. Ah, you are a worker in this place. Let's challenge that devil. She's a worker in this house. There is an immunity. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that this will never return to her again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never return to her by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray for you. And I want you to check yourselves after I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Sister, five years your leg has been swollen. Permanently like that. Have you gone to the hospital? What did they tell you? Nothing was wrong. Eh? Nothing was wrong. Nothing is wrong. Because when a thing is spiritual, no matter what happens in the physical, you may not be able to get an equivalent, um, a, a something to be able to treat. But Father, in the name of Jesus, we cause witchcraft. This is like, right? In the name of Jesus Christ, I command freedom, freedom for your legs. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of witchcraft. Mama, I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you right now. Every wicked spirit leaves you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lay your hands on your chest. The Lord is bringing you deliverance right now. In the name of Jesus. This is witchcraft. 
for five years. I'm seeing a spirit. Go. Go. In the name of Jesus. You can't remain in her. The swollen legs. I command the swelling to go down. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Mama, I pray for your leg. In Jesus' name. I pray for your leg. That's where the pain is. Just lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cause the pain by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please check yourselves. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. And tell me if there's any improvement. How many of us came here either for ourselves or for our loved ones to be healed? Specifically in the area of healing. Let me just see your hands. Inside and outside, can you just wave it to the Lord? How many of you came here to be healed? Okay, very quickly, while the worship team leads us in a powerful worship session, want all the sick people to make their way right now. Just, just guide all the people that are under the anointing. Just shift them. Don't drag them around. Please, let's do that very quickly. Make your way out and just stand in a straight line and trust God for a miracle. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. And it will break every chain, break every chain, break every chain. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Look how many people are trusting God for healings and miracles. I sincerely pray with all my heart that every church and every assembly of God will permit the power of God to operate in their place. It is not a thing of pride to have so many, look at, literally, maybe hundreds of people right outside. There is a long queue and we'll have to minister to these people. It's not God's idea to have one superstar. It's just that many people, especially men of God, are unwilling to press into the dimensions that bring them to the possibilities we are going to do this very very fast all of you who are sitting make sure you are connected and um, you are participating while we are ministering to the sick I want you to pass your prayer request ushers you can walk around please make sure all those outside even those on the roadside make sure that we receive their prayer request because I will be laying hands on it immediately afterwards myself and Pastor Jax will be ministering to you Whatever your challenge is, I want you to believe God. While you are standing, lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I will not return back with this sickness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I stretch my hands over your people. Let your healing power deliver and send The Lord is healing someone of pile. I'm seeing someone that has suffered pile for a long time. The Lord is healing you right now. You may be in the healing line, but the Lord is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Please make your way. Make your way. It doesn't matter who lays hands on you. There is a corporate anointing in this place. Hallelujah. Please, as soon as we lay hands on you, just go this way very quickly. There are people right to the back outside so that we'll hurry up. And there are still other things we need to do. Praise God. matter what is wrong with you just the laying on of hands the anointing of the spirit is like a drug the moment it enters your body it begins to work and it brings you healing you will notice that some people are standing for healing but as soon as hands are laid on them devils are coming out because they are the causes of these infirmities Christ.
Christ. Holy, 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 holy. condition of this brother the legs look at me leave him move your hand look at me have you tried walking before huh? lift your leg try lifting lift it lift the other one Just stand behind him so in case he wants to fall, you hold him. Look at me. See, just look at me, not your legs. Look at me. Come, 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 just come. Don't think of how it will happen. Come. Come. Come, come. come on, you celebrate are Jesus. You on your throne. Completely, the legs are open. Father, Jesus If you are yet to pass yours, please just do it quickly. Can we all rise? As many as can rise, please, inside and outside. It's a very prophetic moment right now. Jesus, Jesus, my heart will sing. Yeah. My heart will sing. No other name. No other name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 
Outside, can we have it quickly? No other name, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. We just have five minutes to do this. Listen, I assure you, this is the place where God answers prayers. Hallelujah. I may not be able to minister to everyone individually, but I want you to know that this is a representation of your heart's desire. This is a representation of why you are here. And I'm going to lay my hands as, on as much as possible as a point of contact. All I want you to do is stretch your hands here and begin to receive answers to your prayer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stretch your hands as I pray on this. Now God is greater. Our God is stronger. Just play the tune while we pray. Stretch your hands and receive. Lord we are praying please make sure you are praying outside stretch your hands towards the screen say Lord I receive it I receive it lift your hands and stretch your hands here and pray Pray from the depth of your heart. testimonies in the name of Jesus turn impossible situations into testimonies Lord we agree we agree we agree in the name of Jesus turn impossible situations to testimonies stretch your hands and keep receiving I receive by faith come on pray all kinds of miracles by the anointing of the Holy Ghost all kinds of miracles. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your glory. Even as these prayer points, Lord, are lifted up to you, Lord. As your people look up to you, Lord. They look up to you, Lord, from whence their help cometh from my Father. I ask you, Lord, that you send angels, Lord. You send answers, my Father. I pray that God doors that are yet to be opened, be opened. My Father, I pray for healings, Lord. Healings or terminal cases, Lord, let it be turned. Lord, where people said, there's no way, my Father, we pray that doors, Lord, you create streams in wilderness places. My Father, Lord, for people that cast away, my Father, Lord, you make them renowned by the power of your spirit. We ask for your hand to rest upon your people. Lord, we ask that, Lord, miracles, miracles, Lord, will be given to your people. Answers to prayers, Lord. 
prayer points that have been pending for many years we ask that god doors be open lord let miracles lord flow into this house in the name of jesus testimonies we are bound in great ways lord unprecedented miracles lord we pray in the name of jesus we ask for healings we ask that lord people that are insane you cause them to be sane in the name of jesus we pray for contract that long delayed lord we pray that lord will be awarded by the power of your spirit in the name of jesus and we pray for a shield of protection over your saints lord in the name of jesus we ask for a revitalization of spiritual lives by the power of your spirit let the fire of god call come on cold altars in the name of jesus let there be healings and touches in families in the blessed name of jesus we give you praise we give you glory for the great and mighty things you will do amongst us lord we give you praise blessed father for we know all our prayers have been answered by the power of your spirit we thank you in the name of jesus we pray hallelujah hallelujah if you believe that your request has been turned into a testimony i'd like you to shout a loud hallelujah shout a loud hallelujah a loud hallelujah a loud hallelujah 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 for many of you it will be like you are dreaming when you will watch one by one by one by one by one by one in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ it's by the anointing it's not by English burdens are destroyed because of the anointing hallelujah this last segment you've heard me say it again this is the most powerful and most impactful segment if you're not a man of the spirit you may not understand what I'm saying please help them this is the most powerful of this segment right now before we go into this where I begin to prophesy there are two dimensions to prophecy there is the revelatory dimension of prophecy that dimension of prophecy gives you direction but the stronger dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension that's when things that are not become by the power of the spoken word never joke with the power of prophecy that's the power that created the heavens and the earth he said i prophesied as i was commanded before we do that very quickly everyone inside and outside there are people here tonight who are saying man of god i want to commit my life to the lord i've seen the miracles i've seen the signs and wonders but my way is not right with the lord you know that right now as you're standing here if the trumpet sounds you're not making heaven you know it right now having a christian name is not the same as having a relationship with jesus there are some you've given your heart to the lord at one time please help those under the anointing i tell you there will be a powerful impartation right now i sense a heavy anointing on me already that's why i'm doing this very quickly now if you are here please don't delay us you are saying i want to return home for whatever reason you found yourself living the ways of god and you are saying lord i have heard your word and i'm not ashamed to make jesus my lord there are people in this auditorium young and old there are people by all the overflows right to the roadside no matter how far you are hearing my voice it should not be too far right now i'll just count one to five please run like you are running away from death run like there's fire on the mountain one inside and outside the devil is a liar tonight don't let any spirit stop you sorry hallelujah hallelujah keep coming god bless you you have won it all for me hallelujah hallelujah you have won the victory sing hallelujah hallelujah you have won keep coming keep coming please hurry up and 
Watch out with us. Sasa di buchi. Sasa di buchi. Sasa di buchi. We did the prayer. Sasa di buchi. Don't sit back there when you hear the voice of the Lord. I appreciate every one of you for coming out. This is the way to the cross. Listen, no matter what you achieve in life, if your eternal destiny is not secured, it says, this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life but he said this life is in his son until you have the son you do not have that life lift your right hand forget about who is looking at you and in the name of Jesus I want you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart you are not reciting a poem it's not a special number this is a decision there's one of you here you smoke all these kinds of things it go and the rest ah huh? but as you pray this prayer the power is broken over your life say after me as loud as you can from the depth of your heart say lord jesus i love you with all my heart and with everything within me this night I make Jesus Lord of my life I repent of my sins I declare that eternal life comes into my spirit I am born again I'm a child of God from today the power of sin the power of the flesh is broken over me my past is gone and it's over forever I am a new creation in Christ in the name of Jesus the power of sin is broken over my life in the name of Jesus I receive of your life in Jesus name I pray now I stretch my hands over you and I declare the power of sin is broken over your life in the name of Jesus every yoke that has tied you down lets you go forever in the name of Jesus I declare that is a new season for you everything that is a habit and a challenge in your life I release you from it right now every covenant and ordinance of darkness that is the foundation of your trouble by the blood of Jesus it is wiped away I set you free I break you free from every wrong association that keeps you in sin in the name of Jesus Christ I pray hallelujah I want to congratulate all of you for making this decision this is the greatest decision you would ever make in your life hallelujah now very quickly so that you catch up with us in this prophetic session i want you to follow the gentlemen waving their hands they will have your details and then we'll follow you up very closely praise the lord just follow them koinonia celebrate them as they go all of you this way this way just follow the gentlemen now everybody rise please I want you to receive this prophetic word this is the seventh month and the Bible says revive thy walk in the midst of the years hallelujah there is a mystery with the seventh month is the time where God perfects all things as I prophesy to you please I want you to know that there is an anointing that makes it happen hallelujah listen listen don't mind all that nonsense one way to conquer satan is to ignore him all of that rubbish uh, is is the devil works in the realm of the senses by the time you focus all your attention on this drama and these things you will waste your time i know you are trying as ushers just stand around satan does not have authority i want you to know that there is an anointing manifestations are already signs that his power is broken 
but satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh so he begins to act around your mind to distract you when you ignore satan is one way of conquering him it does not have the capacity to continue all of this nonsense are you getting my point so this is teaching you so that tomorrow you don't end up wasting your time with all this rubbish and all this drama praise the lord lift your hands i prophesied as i was commanded You are Yahweh, you are seated on the throne. You are Yahweh, seated on the throne. You are Yahweh, you are seated on the throne. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying right now by the ministry of angels are they not ministering spirits send to minister today that be the heirs of salvation I pray for you every weakness in your life that weakness dies tonight in the name of Jesus every weakness in your life that weakness leaves you tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I prophesy to you that Red Sea you are standing before by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in this second half of the year. An anointing comes upon you and I prophesy cross every Red Sea. Cross every Red Sea. Cross every Red Sea in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every student here. Oh, for there is a spirit in man and the inspiration make it men of understanding. I'm praying for you. Some of you, listen. As I pray now, some of you will literally feel like oil being poured upon your head is an impartation of knowledge right now oh god i release an anointing to change the story of students at the count of three let it fall right now one two three take it take it take it take it now take it now that anointing receive it for exploits inside and outside Take it for exploits, exploits, exploits. Hallelujah. Everything called stagnation in your life that has forced you to stay in one position while you should be moving right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of prophecy. I command stagnation to end now. 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 My goodness, something is happening to your destiny. Every night season in your life, every wilderness experience that has refused to break forth into the day i speak to you right now your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally hallelujah there is something called favor i don't know if you know it but there is something called favor when the favor of god is upon a man your looks your background your qualifications no longer matter let an anointing of favor right now I see at least 100 people 100 people like fire 100 people right now receive it receive it favor 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 upon your life favor 
Haratata tabakata Shakata lakate Ratakate Favor 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 Parekete Embratata Lakata I prophesy by an apostolic anointing Favor 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 Everyone holding anything that should be given to you for the next level. I don't care where they are, but I sound an alarm in the spirit. That in this month we're entering called August. May that be the month where you receive the keys of the next level. Shekete. Hey, kababa ta 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 ta. Shekete. Receive the keys of the next level. The mysteries of the next level. Every spiritual blindness. Shababa. Things happen around you you cannot see. Blood of spiritual vision. I pray right now. Many of you will see like flashes of light. As I'm praying right now, you will see literally like flashes of light. Your eyes are opening right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Blindness. Spiritual blindness. Spiritual blindness. Be free from it right now. Be free from it right now. Be free from it right now. Hallelujah. There are many of us here. Dreams and visions are prophetic channels where we get insight and direction. But for many of us, our dreams and visions have either been corrupted or it's no longer there. The Bible says they will dream dreams. It says they will see visions. Shakataba, lift your hands. There will be an, a restoration anointing right now. I just want you to shout, I receive. Listen, many things will happen to you. Many of you is an activation of the realm of dreams and visions where God will start showing you the blueprint for the next level. Right now in the name of Jesus, at the count of three as you shout, I receive. Let there be an impartation upon your dream life upon spiritual visions one two three now you receive it receive it restoration of fire fire dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams Hallelujah. It says, What do you have in your house? And she said, Nothing except a jar of oil. I want to prophesy upon your gift. It's one thing to be gifted, but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed. There are many of you, the gift you have can bring bread to your table, but nobody is seeing it. Is one thing to be gifted, is one thing to be skilled, but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed. Thou anointed my head with oil, and it makes my cup to overflow. I prophesy to you whatever has covered your gift, whatever has made your gift barren right now. In the name of Jesus, I anoint your gift now, I anoint your skill now. I anoint your gift now. Creativity. Creativity. I release it. I release that anointing. 
creativity, skill, expertise, competence, proficiency. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. Anybody who has said it's not your time to manifest that you always remain on the background you clap for others but you are not cursed it's God's desire that every man will also come to the lamb light I pray for you whatever has kept you behind right now in the name of Jesus I command let the light be on you let the light of glory be on you hallelujah everything you have tried by your strength to do and you have been unable to do throughout half of this year you have tried by your strength i'm releasing grace upon your life right now go back to that same thing and watch how god will bless you through it i pray for every ministry here from glory to glory every church represented from honor to honor new dimensions of the anointing in the name of jesus christ every business here is time to shine come on every business here i strengthen your hand arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine, arise and shine. lift your hands one last prayer listen I want to activate the gift of the spirit without the gift of the spirit upon your life your life will be barren and unfruitful it says for I long to see you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye be established I pray for you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that the Lord himself something is about to happen to your life right now as I speak Father I come under this apostolic anointing right now across the length and breadth in this auditorium and outside at the count of three let there be an activation of spiritual gift one two three take it take it gift of healing word of knowledge gift of prophecy 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 i activate the prophetic i open your eyes spiritual gifts endowments of the spirit I declare that you are supernatural beginning from tonight in the name of Jesus everywhere you go you are supernatural let the anointing upon this house follow you like a shadow I prophesy to you every anointing that is upon this house from today let it follow you like a shadow whatever the anointing has brought to this house let it bring it to your life hallelujah lift your hands and give him praise father we give you all the praise I assure you you will know that this miracle service was unusual you will know many of you right from this night tomorrow will not reach you start having your testimonies right from this night right from this night favor alerts calls I mean connections mysterious happenings 
I speak to the spiritual borders of your destiny and in the name of Jesus I command that every gate that has been closed the Bible says your gate shall be continually open so you have a gate your gate shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles I pray for you in the name that is above all names let everything in your life start working for you I command the earth to work for you I command the wind to work for you I command the stars to work for you everything that is a disappointment in your life I change it tonight to a testimony Hallelujah. if you're worshiping with us for the first time keep standing everybody there are many people outside let me speak upon your life personally wherever you are please make your way to the front quickly we have one minute to do this god bless you this is your first time you are most welcome there is a prophecy for you you must carry a signature no stand up keep standing everybody must know you came for koinonia hallelujah listen when you come here we may not give you hampers but we give you an identity you will go back with it and everyone will know that you met the christ make your way to the front koinonia celebrate them glorious glorious god brought them by his spirit is this the best you can do in appreciation to what the mighty god has done for us as a house dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salas kade bash kana kata branda kate katos. Kate branda kata pakotos koto break kate kate kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.